Our motto was choosy moms, choose Jip. Choosy moms, not all moms, okay? Let's say maybe your mom who drinks in the afternoon and goes to the casino and forgets to pick up your kids from school. If that's the case, by all means, buy Peter Pan, okay? That, that's, that's a better product for you, all right? Like, like Peter Pan, come on, their, their mascot is a boy who refused to grow up. Maybe he couldn't grow up because he was malnourished because he was eating that garbage peanut butter named after a cartoon character. Peter Pan can fly because he has hollow bones. There's no nutrients in Peter. Now listen, I'm gonna talk a lot about peanut butter, okay? It's, it's an important subject, but I need to address something up top. It's been a rough year for Jif, okay? If you guys don't know what happened, we had a problem. Some people, barely any, like 14, got some salmonella, okay? And they traced it back to Jif, okay? And Jif did the right thing. They pulled it off the shelves nationwide. They pulled it all off, and I feel bad about it. I mean, I didn't do it, all right? but like, <laughs> I wish I could go back 20 years when I worked there and say like, hey, if you guys are thinking about coming up with some sort of a raw chicken flavored peanut butter, <laughs> don't, <all right? laughs> A bad idea, you know, like, and just so you know, like, th that happened in 2006 with Peter Pan. They had the same thing, you know, they had a recall, salmonella. Just this year, Skippy had some metal particles in their peanut butter, and they had to pull it off the shelves, and you guys are like, well, Greg, it's never happened with organic peanut butter. Y yeah, that's because they've only sold, like, 30 jars of that stuff, right? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, the organic peanut butter? It it's got like an inch of oil on the top of it. Looks like a science project on the grocery shelves. You know, well, Greg, that's how peanut butter naturally settles. Well, then cover it up. Nobody wants to see that. You know? <laughs> Greg, your peanut butter has preservatives in it. That's why it doesn't do that. Yeah, that's exactly why it doesn't do that. Yeah. Maybe we're trying to preserve people's appetites, right? Like, <laughs> Greg, you just take a knife and you stir the jar and the oil goes away. Oh, now I'm supposed to help you make the peanut butter? <laughs> Why don't you just hand me a bag of peanuts and a hammer next time? I'll smash them up myself. <laughs> me eater, you maker. <laughs> now listen, listen, there's probably somebody out there and you know, your mom made you eat organic peanut butter when you were growing up. If that's the case, obviously you were homeschooled. You know, yeah. <laughs> that's why you're homeschooled. Your mom did not want you to go to school and sit next to the Jif kid and have that kid be like, hey. <laughs> There's another way to live. You know, like, <laughs> and maybe you're a parent, okay? Maybe you're a parent and you force your child to eat organic peanut butter. And if that's the case, I'm not gonna tell you how to raise your own kid. I am gonna gently suggest that you at least expose them to some different peanut butter, you know, before you send them off into the world. Cause I don't know if you've ever seen an organic peanut butter kid go off the deep end. <laughs> it is not pretty. Okay, these kids. <laughs> They spend 18 years eating it, then they go off to college. They have one bite of a Jif sandwich. Six weeks later, they're passed out on a park bench with nutter butters all over their face. So... <laughs> we got a lot of that business as Jif. We didn't want it. That's blood money right there. I'm... We took it. We took it. But, you know. <laughs> now, the company that I work for was called Procter & Gamble, okay? They don't own Jif anymore. You know who owns Jif? Smuckers. Smuckers owns peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> if these guys ever get a hold of bread. <laughs> now the government will step in. That's, that's an illegal monopoly. That, you know, that's Sherman antitrust, I think. I mean, you can't own a whole sandwich. <laughs> this country was founded on principles. Right? But, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. I, 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 was, I was a big deal, you know, in, in the... Ma'am, I was, all right? Like, I, I was a big deal in the peanut butter game, okay? I was part of some stuff that, that I'm sure you'll remember. I was part of the team that launched the first, the first low salt, low sugar peanut butter into the category. It was called Simply Jif. It was targeted towards diabetics. I wanted to call it type two peanut goo, but... <laughs> Thank you.
I liked it. You know what? I always felt guilty because we charge the same for crunchy as we did for creamy, which if you think about it, the crunchy, like, we didn't finish making that. <laughs> if you went to the plant, the crunchy guys are probably getting off work at noon, and the creamy guys are still smashing up peanuts at 5.30. The savings should have been passed on to you, and I, I still lose sleep over it. I, I'm a purist, I'll just tell you right now. I'm a peanut butter purist. I think there should be creamy and crunchy, and that's about it, you know? Like, there's a lot of new flavors in peanut butter. They're getting fancy, I don't care for it. Like, Peter Pan has uh, honey roasted peanut butter. If I know those guys, they're just grinding up bees and stirring them in there like... And I mean, even Jif, my company, they're doing some stuff I don't care for. I mean, they're getting fancy. They have an Omega Jif. Omega Jif. Omega, that's fish oil. They're putting fish in peanut butter, and they're wondering how they got salmonella. Like, what kind of fish was it? Salmon, maybe? What? Are you guys not seeing what I'm seeing here? Like. I mean, I know a lot of stuff. I mean, I mean, it, it, just so you know, like the main size in peanut butter, that's 18 ounce, okay? That's where the deals are. That's where the wars are fought. That's where we go head to head, you know? There's a 28 ounce, there's a 40 ounce, but the deals are, they're, they're 18 ounce. And like, if you went to Kroger right now and you bought an 18 ounce jar of Jif, it would probably cost you about 319. You know, back to school, maybe two for three. If that happens, stock up. It's not coming around for another year, all right? Like, I ran a deal one time, Columbus, Ohio, 200 Kroger stores, 18 ounce Jif, 99 cents. Yeah, 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 I did that. It'll never happen again, never, never. Even the bad moms bought Jif that week. <laughs> Mama, this peanut butter tastes better. Don't get used to it, boy. I ain't giving up cigarettes and I ain't giving up Red Bull. So when it's gone, it's gone. That was a, a unchoosy mom. Like, <laughs> I, I'm sure you've all seen an unchoosy mom at the grocery store, right? Like yelling at their kid or something. Like, choosy, I wasn't choosy when I met your daddy. I ain't about to start with no peanut butter. You better put that brand name peanut butter back on the shelf or I might choose to leave you in the parking lot. <laughs> like I did your brother. You didn't know you had a brother, did you? <laughs> what kind of peanut butter you eat, ma'am? Jif, yeah, I could tell. You have beautiful skin. <laughs> I can see these things, yeah. What about you, sir? Jif, Jif yeah, yeah. You're not just saying that, right? <laughs> you, sir, what, what do you eat? You don't eat peanut butter? Okay, you can go. <laughs> we don't need you here, sir. <laughs> you just don't like it? Yeah. Yeah. About you, sir? Jif, yeah. Anybody eat Skippy? You can tell me. You eat Skippy, ma'am? You eat Skippy. Stop, hey, hey, you don't. You eat Skippy? And you like the taste of it? Ma'am, you have COVID. It affects your taste buds, ma'am. You have the Skippy variant and you better get that checked out, ma'am. That's... What about you, sir? Peter Pan. I don't like you, sir. I respect your confidence. You know. Well, at least, you know, at least you, at least you eat peanut butter. I've heard a lot of excuses why people don't eat peanut butter. My son has a peanut allergy. We don't keep it in the house. Well, we did a lot of research at Procter & Gamble, and we found out that your son is a faker.
I like almond butter. Do you? I mean, you're a hippie. That, that's fine, hippie. Go ahead and eat your almond butter or smoke it, whatever you do with it. I, I don't know how you buy it, because from what I understand, the grocery stores require shoes, hippie. You didn't buy it, did you? You got it from one of your hippie friends at a fish concert. They pulled it out of their hobo bag. They, it was in a bottle that used to have patchouli in it. You know, probably traded it to him from some skirt that you made out of lawn clippings, hippie. Fine, hippies gotta eat, you know. But... I've heard this, I prefer Nutella. You're eating a chocolate sandwich, okay? Just put a Hershey bar in between two pieces of bread. You can prefer it, but don't you dare call it lunch, okay? By the way, check your blood sugar. You're about two of those sandwiches away from a permanent ride on the type two peanut goo choo-choo. Now listen, you know, I said a lot of stuff here. I, I said some bad stuff about Peter Pan, you know. I said some bad stuff about Skippy, you know. And I meant it, like, <laughs> like I, 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 I hate him, you know, like I, I hate him, but I respect him on some level. They've been in the game for a long time. You know, they've been there. They were there before Jif. I respect them. There's some peanut butters think they can just jump in the game, you know, like, like Reese's. Remember when Reese's all of a sudden said, we're a peanut butter, you know? I'm sure they were thinking, hey, we're a candy bar with peanut butter as a main ingredient. How hard could it be to be just peanut butter? <laughs> Real hard, Reese's, okay? <laughs> You're gonna find out what it's like to stand on your own. You don't have chocolate to hide behind over here. We're not playing trick or treat games. We are feeding families in this aisle. Just be a candy, that's what you are. Be a candy. You don't see Ring Pop trying to get in the jewelry business. 